welcome to the Mary Z Topper Stock. So, first of all, uh, congratulations for achieving uh, 52 or India 52 Thank tank you. in the gate 2023. Thank so, you. So, uh, when you started preparation? Uh, actually, I started my preparation around uh, at the end of the second year. I was actually preparing for inter internships. Uh, so, I was actually uh, preparing DSA and doing competitive programming. Then, at the start of the third year, I actually started full faced in gate preparation. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, you started from the second year only. Okay, almost third right. year. I mean, from some preparation. The almost start year. of the third year. Yes, third year. yes sir. So that is really, I mean, uh, I mean, advantage if you are starting early, so you have sufficient time for all that. Okay, right. nice. So, I mean, uh, what is the like a strategy you followed? Okay, finishing of the syllabus and making the notes and all that. Okay, have you maintained any short notes? Uh, exactly. I had three types of notes, actually. So mm -hmm. the first note I made when I used to go through a subject, like for the first time, uh, mm -hmm. then, then after... The first time of revision, I used to make uh, make a long revision notes. Okay. So it's almost like maybe each subject had almost like twenty to thirty pages of uh, notes. Then mm -hmm. after almost an, at the end of the third revision, uh, so I was doing almost three uh, three rounds of revision in my uh, last year. So mm -hmm. at the end of the uh, last revision, I made almost a short notes, almost like uh, it's like three pages. Uh, per subject, it had mm -hmm. all, uh, just the uh, important formulas and things like that. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you maintain total three different notes for every subject. Exactly, three different okay. notes. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, fine, fine. So very good. You spend. I mean, uh, when you are doing the three different types of notes, uh, definitely. I mean, you will have. Uh, I mean, uh, revision will automatically happen while doing that. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Uh, I, I mean, it was very hectic for my, I mean, it was very, uh, it was not my type that I will go through the revision notes and uh, I, I mean, it was not my type of revision, like uh, going through the revision notes over and over. I, I mean, I could not concentrate like that. So it was always like writing stuff, then, then I can concentrate on those things. So uh, it's better for me to write uh, and then concentrate. Nice, nice. So different students have the different strategies. So that is very right, nice. Exactly. So follow that way. Okay. So in the I mean uh, last year you have given the total complete three revisions of all the subjects. Exactly. So. Oh, very good, very good, very good. So I mean uh, really students like I mean uh, I suggest revision is very very important. So minimum two revisions definitely required. If you can do the three times revision, that is very good. Okay. Exactly. So um, Devdud has done three revisions. Uh, okay, in the last year. Okay, fine. So when you started giving test series? Uh, actually, I completed all the subjects like uh, normal uh, subjects uh, preparation at the end of the August. Then I started my first round of revision, and during the first round of revision, I was actually first revising the subject then solving all the PYQs, then I'll do the topic test. Uh, it is around August, start of August, I can say. So at the end of almost like October, I was a complete with the topic test, then I started with subject test. And this was my second round of revision. Okay, so at, say, uh, around almost like uh, first week of December, I was complete with all the uh, subject test in my test series. So then I, at the almost second or third week, I started the fine uh, full length mocks, right? Uh, and at that time, I was doing the third round of revision. Uh, so every time I was doing third round of revision, and uh, almost in January, it was like at the at the age of uh, gate. So I was like revising all the subjects uh, day by day and uh, giving mocks at the uh, maybe two days uh, in two days gap, two or three days gap. So then, you followed very good strategy like in the first revision okay you have done okay you have given the topic wise test and the second exactly. revision you have done the full length test and the exactly. third revision you have done all mock tests in the second revision topic. i was doing the subject test and subject the third test. revision the full length yes yes okay third revision full length yes okay, okay. exactly so very good strategy very good strategy okay right so i mean the revision is also happening and you are giving parallelly along with the test series also happening so, I mean, one important thing is after proper revision only, he has given the test series. Okay. Exactly. So, I, uh, I thought, 
yeah the mistake yeah. generally students will do is they don't do the proper revision and they will directly exactly. use the test series so exactly. and okay they got this class sometimes they get de demotivated okay exactly. sometimes uh, okay they themselves like feel like okay i have not done the proper revision that is the reason i got less marks so that is a kind of excuse excuse only exactly. so it's right. always advisable okay you do the proper revision of the syllabus or subject whatever so then you give the test series and you can really analyze okay where you really stand okay exactly. so right. what is the strategy you followed while giving the test series okay actually uh, before test series i always used to solve some piqs i mean piqs are the most uh, i think the uh, most beautiful set of questions engage right mm -hmm. so i used to solve the piqs then at the topic test almost uh, it was almost like 45 minutes of test i'll uh, i'd always analyze the test really well like which which type of questions i was um, i was sort of stuck at on which type of questions i was doing silly mistakes at so i would note down everything at the end of each test uh, test papers okay like like each 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 test series after giving each test series so um, like that in the, uh, almost uh, and also in the subject test i was doing that thing okay so uh, day by day i was actually decreasing the number of mistakes i was doing uh, in particular types of question and this was the thing and i always used to maintain a uh, kind of excel sheet where i used to uh, just input my, all my test series numbers and the remarks i used to make the, uh, in which type of question i am doing uh, i am making wrong right so uh, in that excel sheet was very important for me like uh, whenever i used to give a topic test on the same topic i used to visit that excel sheet and see if i have given test on that topic i used to note down which the problem i am i was making in that paper and then used to rectify it in the next paper Okay. So, so, dear students, uh, this is one of the important advice. Uh, okay, Devdut has done uh, very proper analysis of uh, okay test series. Uh, like where he was, where he was getting the negative marks or any mistakes. Uh, he maintained a proper Excel sheet uh, and he rectified uh, okay his mistakes and he ensured that uh, that mistakes will not repeat in the next test. Uh, okay, right. So and uh, he is saying one important small advice is like uh, before test series he used to solve PYQ questions also. Exactly. So that uh, okay, so I mean you will really enjoy that. Uh, okay, exactly. like PYQ revision will also happen. Uh, okay, and that will give some kind of confidence. Uh, and again, exactly. the revision of the subject also will happen in the PYQ questions also. Exactly. Right. Okay. So that is nice. Uh, so I mean, uh, how do you feel like uh, the quality of the test series? Uh, okay, it, it was uh, good. I would not say excellent. I'm sorry, but it was good. Actually, uh, you were talking about made easy test series, right? Yes, yes, made easy test series. Yes, sir. It, the the test series was good. I find some questions uh, in topic tests uh, like uh, there was some printing, uh, typing mistakes, typos. I used to challenge those questions sometimes. Overall, the quality was good. I'd say. Okay. 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 So maybe like okay, okay, fine. That is good. So, how many marks you used to uh, score in the full length test, full syllabus test or mock test? It's uh, in full length test. I was averaging at almost around 65, 66, like that. Uh, okay. At at start, I was scoring all around maybe 58, 59, something like that, 58 to 60. Okay. Then after, I would say all. Uh, if I take average of all the full length marks, I was at about 65 to 66, like that. Okay. 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 Fine. Fine. So nice day, Udut. Okay. So we had good interaction. Okay, right. So what is your future plans? So you're planning for IIT Bombay or where you are planning? MTech or BSC? I'm, plan I'm always uh, obviously planning for MTech. Uh, let's say I'm actually confused with IST and IIT Bombay. Uh, yeah. So I'm actually researching on these things, which of, which of the one is better for me at least. I mean, both are equally good. Okay, so there is no much difference. I've I've heard IIC Bangalore's coursework is a uh, um, little bit heavy. So, yes, yes, yes. So, but both are equally good. Okay, coursework is uh, uh, yeah little bit heavy in IIC Bangalore compared to IIT Bombay. Okay. So that is. Good. So thanks for your time, Devdut. Okay, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Right. Thank you, thank you, sir. So Peaceful for the students, sir. Okay, all the best for future endeavors, sir. Thank you, sir. Have a good day.